everyone, this is Greg with OBT here to show you the day out. So here it is. This is the day out, which is starts as a four by four open bed trailer. This trailer itself on the interior is five by eight. Gentleman ordered it so he can haul his ATV around. This trailer comes with an open basket, two jerry can holders, which can hold a six gallon and a five gallon spare tire. I use Gladiator wheels. He has a Gladiator truck. And we'll get under here and show you the new suspension. It's Cruise Master CRS2. Also, the DO35 coupler with the handbrake. Really cool. First time I've ever applied this to one of my trailers. Love the system. The Arc uh, Extreme Off-Road Tongue Jack. Tie downs throughout the bed. This also has the telescopic rack with the awning mount. This rack goes up to 5'2", so the client can easily load and unload his quad. BAL C jacks for stabilizing. And handcrafted ramps, which can be stowed inside the trailer, either the width of the trailer or the length. Very nice build. This is actually the first trailer I've done an underbelly water tank. And I kept it nice and compact. All the plumbing is encased in this box. It has a 12 volt power inlet and a waterproof switch. So when the client needs to use his water, he can connect his portable power to it. Hope you can see it. Uh, with how my trailers are built, I had to do a little bit of different work to apply this emergency brake cable. So I used the tube to protect that one cable and modified it. And then I built a little pulley for the handbrake. It also needed a little channel right there in that corner to direct the, the cable as well so it stays out of the tire. Suspension is really easy to work with, easy to put on. Uh, geez, uh, probably one of the easiest things all the way down to every measurement. And there is the underbelly water tank. Thank you guys for taking time to watch this video. It's been some time since I've posted one, so I will get better at that. I just tied up with these last two jobs. Thank you so much.